Today on All Things 80s, I just got more Black Series figures. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, following on from my recent video where I showed my first haul of Black Series figures, I just got another delivery. Now, this time it was an eBay auction, and I believe there are something like 44 items in these boxes, and a quick rough calculation tells me that each item is costing me about $11. So hopefully there's going to be a good bit of scope to make some decent profit on these. So without further ado, let's get them opened up and see what we have. And I guess we'll start with the bigger of the two boxes. This one is Val, uh, which I think is from the Solo movie. Um, Yep, uh, nothing spectacular there. Oh dear, this is Resistance Tech Rose. So I think this is probably the ultimate uh, peg warmer. So this will definitely result in a loss, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, this is Han Solo Mimban in his Imperial costume. It actually looks quite nice, not bad. Uh, Sergeant Jun Erso. I think we got one of these last time. So again, so far, not spectacular. Oh, yeah, and the, and the theme continues with Vice Admiral Holdo. Already got that one. L737. I think we got that one as well. But ultimately, it's all about the bigger picture. So here we have... The Stormtrooper, this is number 48. Really like the look of that one. In fact, same sculpt as the old uh, Christmas Stormtrooper up over my shoulder. And have to say, this looks far better. This is a range, range trooper. I think they used this for another of the Christmas ones. Yeah, they did. This is a Knight of Wren. Right, night as in singular. Looks not bad. Death Star Trooper. Yeah, quite nice. Kira, another one of these solo figures. I think I got this one in the last batch. And also, I should point out that I haven't actually sold any of that first batch yet. I've just been so busy with Christmas, and especially doing those Christmas countdown videos. But in the new year, I will be doing some serious selling. This is the Imperial AT, ACT driver. And I do like the look of that, actually. That's a pretty cool looking figure. Luke Skywalker, Yavin Ceremony. I think we got that one last time as well. This is number 100. This time we have Captain Poe Dameron, number 53. Yeah, so many figures from those terrible movies, but that's the way it goes, I guess. This is the Imperial Patrol Trooper, and that looks pretty cool. I like the look of that a lot. Now here we have, we're getting to sort of slightly more unusual items in a moment. Snow Trooper. I don't know why they call it Snow Trooper. To me it was always Storm Trooper Hoth Battle Gear. Um, unlike the original Kenners, these ones come pre-yellowed, which is quite interesting. Uh, one more figure here. And this is... The Stormtrooper Executioner. I like the look of that. Of course, it is First Order, but nevertheless, quite cool. Uh, some interesting stuff coming up. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a trap. Uh, this is actually a twin pack. Admiral Akbar and First Order Officer. What a rather unusual twin pack that is, but nevertheless, not bad, I suppose. I um, don't know how to do this first. Uh, do this one. This is 
Looks like a dewback with a stormtrooper. Yeah, it's on a messy stormtrooper as well. Uh, you can see that. Dewback. That looks pretty cool. Is there any way of looking at this? Or is it all sealed? Uh, sadly, it's all sealed. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, this one. Ah, yeah. I like this. This is the uh, 40th anniversary Darth Vader, complete with the uh, the first 12 stand. I can only assume this stand, when assembled, must be absolutely massive to accommodate these six inch scale figures, but that looks pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, this. This is a centerpiece, and it's Kylo Ren. That's kind of cool. Um, this is number three. Uh, okay, so I guess you get a couple of extra stormtroopers to create the scene as shown on the back here. Does this lift? Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. It lifts, but it doesn't actually show you the figure. It just shows you what it will look like. Um, yeah, it's different, I suppose. Quite nice. And... Uh, this one, I think, I already have. But it came in a different... I'm sure it came in a box that did not have this... I'm scared to do this in case it's going to rip. Is it Velcro? Yeah. This one, I think... Or no, is this, hang on. This is Jedi training. Ah, no, 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 no. The other one I got with Ray was, I forget now. I think it was the one where she was battling Kylo Ren, but what's this? This is just, uh, well, there's, there's no number, so does that mean it's exclusive? Duh, it's right there on the front there exclusive but it doesn't say to where does it i don't know yeah it's all right actually pretty decent and lastly in this box this is never heard of this enfy's nests swoop bike so this one is rather interesting looking uh this is what, Solo? I'm sure it was. You know what, I really, I, I saw Solo, Solo, saw the Solo movie once and it was all right, but nothing sort of memorable to me. So this one is interesting. So that's all for this first box. So let's go on with the second box. Now this is a good figure to start things off. Because, now don't tell anyone, but there is a chance that I may start a Black Series Mandalorian collection. And here's Cara Dune. Uh, gotta say, that's a pretty damn good likeness there. It's got the nice chunky thighs as well. So this is possibly may stay. Not sure yet. Uh, next up, uh, Princess Leia Hoth. Definitely got that in the last batch. Ah, uh, Maz Kanata also got that one in the last batch. Dryden Voss. Yeah, that's a good sculpt on that face, actually. Like that. Oh, DJ got that one last time. Oh, and of course, another Ray. Jedi training, so I guess um, I'm wondering if this is just a deluxe version of that. Let me see. Uh, actually, more or less the same figure, except the deluxe one comes with soft goods and more weapons and whatnot. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess 
whenever you buy a lot, there's always going to be at least one ray. Ah, I was going to say Zuckus, but four long, but this will always be Zuckus to me. This is number 67. Tobias Beckett. I think I got that in the last batch. This is number 68. First Order Elite Snow Trooper. I like the look of that. That looks pretty good. No, oh, exclusive. Don't know to where though, because normally they had a sticker saying which store it was exclusive to. This is the young Lando Calrissian. Got one of them already. Another ray. This is the Island Journey. I mean, how many rays did they have to make? Uh, Rio Durant. His name is Rio. Padme Amidala. Definitely got, I think got this one last time. Jawa. Never bad. Number 61. Battle Droid. I always find the, those characters really annoying. Uh, the first, or the Phantom Menace, really was like watching a glorified cartoon at times. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Padawan. And that, I have to say, I, I was going to say looks nothing like Ewan McGregor, but from certain angles it's maybe passable. Not great though. This is number 85. Just a few left here. Uh, Captain Cassian Andor, number 23. Definitely got that one in the last batch. Uh, Poe Dameron, pilot, number seven. And last, no, two more. Finn, first order disguise, got that one. I thought it was a terrible looking figure. And the, the way the eyes have pa are painted on is just horrendous. And lastly, Han Solo, the young Han Solo. So, all in all, not quite as impressive as the first batch I got. But nevertheless, for the price paid per item, I think I'm going to do quite well on this. So, as I mentioned earlier, I haven't done any selling yet because of Christmas. So, in the new year, I'm going to be extremely busy moving all of this product on and hopefully bringing in a reasonable profit. So this was my latest endeavor to try and do a bit of business. So hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Uh, special thanks to the Patreons. Thank you to everyone else. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.